joining me again on my channel. I'm so happy to see you all. I hope that you were able to do our writing assignment from yesterday with me. If you did not have the chance to do that writing assignment, just go ahead on back to the last video and go ahead on and draw and label a panda with me. It's a really fun excitement and it goes with our goals for this week. And remember, our goals for this week are to be able to identify a main topic and retail key details as well as knowing and being able to use various text features so it is a very special week i'm so happy that you guys got to do this assignment with me and i have a few wonderful shout outs to do i want to shout out a few people that have done a fantastic job with their assignment and have sent it in to me i want to go ahead on and highlight those people the first person is Antoriana. Antoriana sent me her assignment. She was able to draw and label her panda. Good job, Antoriana. I am so proud of you. Keep doing what you're doing. You're well on your way to being a great reader and a great writer. Another person I would like to highlight is Isla. Fantastic job with your work. I saw how well you labeled that panda. And then also I would like to shout out Seven. For doing a fantastic job with labeling his panda and drawing it as well. All of you guys did such a wonderful job. Let's give a round of applause to them. I'm so happy you're here participating in my class with me and I look forward to seeing more of your work. Great job, Antoriana, Isla, and Seven. Wonderful job, I'm really proud of you. So today we're going to go back to our goal which is to identify the main topic and retail key details as well as identifying and knowing and using various text features. We're gonna go ahead on and get started with our book. Pandas. And before we get started, let's go ahead on and identify some key parts of a book. So, take a moment and think to yourself, what part of the book is this? If you said front cover, great job. Kiss your brain. This is the front cover of the book. All right, here's a tricky one. What part of the book is this? If you said spine, you are right on the money. Fantastic job knowing that part of the book. What part of the book is this? Yeah, you're correct. If you said back cover, kiss your brain. You are so smart. That is the back cover of the book. In this book, our informational text for this week, Anne Schreiber is the person who wrote this book. We have our title page, which includes the title of the book, Pandas, as well as our author's name, Anne Schreiber. Now we have our table of contents. Now, the table of contents is very important because it's normally one of the first pages in the book. It lists each section and tells what, what page it starts on. I wanted so, to read about panda bodies. I would just go into my table of contents and I would look for where it says panda bodies. Next to panda bodies, it has a page number. It says page six. That tells me I can go to page six and read all about the panda's bodies. Giant panda. Hmm. I notice at the top of the page it says giant panda. So I'm thinking these pages are probably gonna be about giant pandas because the heading says giant panda. 
Look, up in the tree, is it a cat? Is it a raccoon? No, it's a giant panda. Giant pandas can climb to the tops of the tallest trees. They live in the highest mountains. They munch on bamboo for hours each day. Bear cat. Ooh, what I'm noticing is that there are some important text features on this page. Like for instance, right here, the picture of the panda, it has a label that labels it giant panda. And if you noticed on our previous page, we learned all about giant pandas. I Notice a box with a picture in it. Inside that box, there's a picture of a bear and it's labeled black bear. Next to it, it has a caption that says, pandas are about the same size as their black bear cousins, but their heads are larger and rounder. Also, pandas cannot stand on their hind legs like other bears do. Pandas are a type of bear, but they seem more like raccoons or cats. In China, pandas are sometimes called da xiong mao, which means giant bear cat. Like all bears, pandas are strong, intelligent animals with sharp teeth and a good sense of smell. Males weigh about 250 pounds and are about four to six feet long. Pandas are great tree climbers. Sometimes they even sleep up in the treetops. Bear word. Habitat, an animal's natural home. I think they included that because that's a very important word to know. Pandas have lived high in the mountains of China for millions of years. It is cold and rainy, but there are plenty of trees and a panda's favorite plant, bamboo. Pandas used to live in more places, but today there is less open land with bamboo. Now pandas live in six forest habitats in China. Take a moment and think to yourself, what is a habitat? Yes, and the habitat is an animal's natural home. And what we read was that pandas live high in the mountains of China. So that is their habitat. Take a moment and think to yourself, what have we learned about pandas so far? Panda body. What did we learn from reading a heading that says panda bodies? Yes, that heading is very important. It says panda bodies, so this page is probably going to tell us all about a panda's body. Pandas are black and white. This may help hide panda babies from predators or enemies in the snowy and rocky forest. Their oily, woolly coat keeps them warm in the cold wet forest where they live. Hairs on the bottom of their feet keep them warm on the snowy ground. Their black eye spots may help them look fierce. Just like cats, pandas can see very well at night when they are most active. Pandas have large teeth and strong jaw muscles that are perfect for crushing tough stalks of bamboo. Sorry, Murphy wants to pop in this video right now. Murphy, you making some noise? Our friends are learning. So, for today, we're going to go ahead on and stop on our Panda's Bodies page. Panda Bodies page. Thank you so much for reading the story with me again today. I really enjoyed going over our main goal for the week, which is to be able to identify the main topic, as well as retelling key details, and then being able to identify and use various um, text features. Fantastic job with that today. Before I leave, let me leave you with a joke. So why do pandas like bamboo? Because it's pandalicious. <laughs> 
It's Pandelicious. Um, just a funny joke to get you going today. Please pay attention for our next video where we will have our writing assignment. And we're going to be writing about some of those things we learned about pandas. So take a moment and think to yourself, what did I learn about a panda today? All right, now keep that in your brain because we're going to use that for our writing assignment. Again, great job today. Thank you all for watching and please send in your work to me. And remember, if you read 10 books, don't forget our challenge, 10 books, you will get a special shout out from me. And also tell your parents to send in your work to me and I would love to give you a shout out for all the great things that you guys are doing. Wonderful job today. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Please remember to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and email me if you need anything. Until next time, bye y'all.